if you are looking for a way to cool off, and who isn't today? I mean, it's beautiful outside, but if you walk outside, you might be sweaty immediately. But here's how to cool off. The Portland Mercury has you covered with their summer of slushies. So every week, all summer, different new slushies are available at different locations for just $5. So we have Jamie from Kachinka here to share the slushie that you have created for this week? Indeed, yes. So um, how did you guys like get on the, the list for summer of slushies? You just do it for this week or? Uh, well, we make slushies all the time. So yes. we have a slushie machine that's always active at Kachinka. Um, we have different varieties of flavors that we do seasonally. There's always, of course, our Moscow Mule slushie because you have to have it. It's delicious, oh, best Moscow Mule in town. Um, <laughs> but for summertime, we decided to do a take on a Jungle Bird, which is a super fun classic tiki cocktail that usually has white rum, pineapple, lime, and Campari. So instead of sticking oh to that um, recipe, I went and churched it up a little bit. So we have some uh, passion fruit and lychee liqueurs. Um, we have Whoa. a little cream sherry, and then we have both white and dark rums to give it a little bit more oomph, a little more backbone. Wow, okay, mm -hmm. I'm very curious to see how this is made. It sounds yeah. amazing. Passion fruit, all kinds of things. Yeah, it's super delicious. I mean, if you have a slushy machine, obviously it's a little bit easier, but it's super great um, to make for people coming over. So if you're having a barbecue tomorrow because it's yes. so hot outside, you can batch it ahead of time, get ready oh. to go, and then you just add a couple of ounces, depending on how many people you're making slushies for. Um, for every cocktail, I would probably do about a half cup to a cup of ice, um, but it just depends on the size of the batch that you're making. So this is everything This is everything already in there. Oh, so we've got genius. the lime juice, pineapple juice, we've got all of your liqueurs, all of your rum. And so like this bottle size of, that you just had it all mixed together, how many slushies does that um, You've got about three to four in there. Again, depending on how thick you want your slushie and how much ice we're gonna put in here. So I'm gonna cool. crank this up real quick. Pardon me a minute. That's the sound of the summer of slushies. Oh, that was so fast. So this I one, was gonna be a I'm lot gonna, more. I was trying to think of more things. I could think of <laughs> I'm gonna add a little more it. ice because I just wanted to make sure that the texture yeah. was right instead of, you know, a juice. Whoops, juice cocktail. We do definitely want a little more texture with that slushy. So we're gonna add just Now, when did your ice. week of summer of slushy start? Like yesterday? Or so it goes through Sunday? Um, it, yes, I believe it goes through Sunday. And we, of course. Stand by for blending. <laughs> I won't tell you any important details. Uh, we always have our blood. slushies on, so Summer of Slushies yes. never really ends for us. <laughs> so you can always come and get one at Kachinka. And for Portland Mercury, the Summer of Slushies goes all the way through September 8th. See, everyone telling you that summer is almost over? No, you have plenty of time yeah, for we're those gonna, slushies. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of summer leftover, so you can come get a slushie. Now, if you're making Ooh. these um, for your friends at home, it's always fun to throw in a couple <gasps> of garnishes. Is that just the pineapple? Yeah, these are just pineapple leaves. Um, they look so cool. It's a pretty traditional tiki garnish as well. And then I've just got some cute little flamingo buddies on their little lime wheels here underneath their umbrella to stay out of the hot, hot sun this week. Now you mentioned if you're you know, throwing a party for your, for your friends, and that's exactly what I've done right now. Got my friends, my coworkers, Jess, producer Jess, and Comics expert, uh, destiny slash investigative <laughs> digital reporter. You guys do a million things, so you deserve <laughs> a slushy. Wait, what is happening now? So the Campari is the last component, and uh, I like to add it at the end just because uh, it gives that little bit of bitterness to balance out all the fruity juice and good stuff that's wow. in there. And when you add it at the end, it looks really, really pretty. Oh Those Thank are so, so beautiful. So Fancy. super simple to make if you ever want to make them at home. Really fun and easy to wow your guests with. And while they're tasting it, this is five dollars mm. during the five dollars during the summer of slushies. Yeah, that's amazing. That's yeah. a great thing. Totally product. worth yeah. five dollars. It's so good. <laughs> it's like you're like on vacation. So mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I have to go back and sit in my tropical desk. breeze. Yes, perfect. Like, yeah, this tropical <laughs> breeze is like coming through the studio. Have people already ordered a lot of these for the summer of slushies? Oh yeah, they're extremely popular. But I mean, they're super delicious, and you can't go wrong with five bucks for a slushie. And so you guys <laughs> will have your special one this week. Then more restaurants will have special slushies next week. You can find the whole list at summerofslushies.com and they can find Kachinko, which how long have you guys actually been open in Southeast Portland? Um, so it was Kachinka. Yes, exactly. It's in our old, old location. We've been open for just over a year now as Kachinka. That's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, good. I turned around. Amazing. I wasn't, wasn't amazing. sure whether this was yes. empty or just like slowly <laughs> sipping, but again, summerofslushies.com. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure.